Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. I'm doing a mini meatloaf that I found on YouTube, and I kind of wanted to share it with you because it's really simple. It tastes and um, it's kind of like my regular meatloaf, but this is a meatloaf that takes 30 minutes to cook, and it's really simple to put together. And I also wanted to share my uh, new little tool here I got that E-Tech City sent me. They, um sent me an email wanting me to um, do a review on one of their items and I told them I said well with the audience that I have with my subscribers I think that um, picking out something like this would be better when I do my cook video and this is kind of something that I needed I needed um, some kind of scale to weigh out my meats and things like that. So I went on their site and I picked out this because it was something totally different. They was had sent me a couple pictures of a couple of their other items, which are pretty cool too, and they're really not um, pricey at all. So um, I was surprised at the different kind of gadgets they had. So I'm going to leave a link below so you can go check out their website. And uh, if you're interested in one of these, you can go get one of these. But it's really nice. I picked it out because it's a stainless steel bowl, which I could use this for anything. And then I picked it out because um, I just needed one, you know. I didn't have one for here in the kitchen. It's really nice. And it, it'll hold up to 11 pounds, so I could actually use it in my eBay room some, too. And um, put packages on it to, you know, weigh in there if I need it. So, it does have a tear on it. That way you can add the bowl weight or take the bowl weight off. Either way. But it works good. Um, it also has an alarm. That's what I really love about this thing. Is it has an alarm. So, if I'm cooking dinner, like I'm fixing to cook my mini meatloaf, I can actually uh, set the alarm for 30 minutes and it beeps and lets me know that the 30 minutes is up. So that works great, and I think it goes all the way up to a whole hour, but it's really nice. And it actually shows you the room temperature also on here. It shows the room temperatures of 72 degrees in here right now in my room, in my kitchen. I had got my meat here. I was going to make us a little mini meatloaf, and it calls for one pound which is like one pound and one ounce, so that's close enough for me. So, I'm going to make, okay, we go right here. So, I'm just going to make it up right into this bowl, which I love. Um, one pound of meat, one box of any kind of stuffing mix, I went with the great value uh, chicken flavored. It don't really matter about the flavor. Let me get me a scissor here. Scissors. Just one pound of meat. The whole package of your stuffing, stovetop stuffing, great value stuffing, whatever kind of stuffing you want and one cup of water. Then you just add in one cup of water and mix it up and that's it. Because the stovetop stuffing has all of your garlic and salt and seasonings in it. So it'll season the meat good. But then just, I go in with my hands. I know everybody don't do that, but some some people do, some people don't. I did wash my hands when I got started. So anyway, you just mix all your breadcrumbs up into the meat. This is really simple. It's really quick for a dinner, and using this nice bowl <laughs> really helps too. I'm glad that I purchased this scale because I really needed it. It will shut off. It did just shut off. After it sees you're not using it, it'll shut off to save the battery life. But anyway, I'm just mixing up my meat. It's 
like that and getting all that bread incorporated into my meat. I don't add any salt or pepper or anything like that because all that's inside of the bread. That's pretty much it. So now, so now I'm just going to grab up little balls. You can size it out appropriately or just stick some in there and kind of eyeball it like I'm doing. And it usually makes about 12. I left my sink dripping. Put in the little meat, fill it into your little cupcake pan here. Spin them all out. These are really good because I've made them one time before and me and my husband both really like them. And they taste so similar to my regular meatloaf that I put all that extra stuff in and take over an hour to cook it. <laughs> then I can just do it like this and we can have meatloaf any night of the week. And you could even freeze these and have them ready for the next time, you know. Next time you want meatloaf, you could pop it right at your freezer. I do have my oven preheating to 350, and it takes these about 30 minutes to cook. That worked out pretty good. I got all, all my meat balled out about the same size. Empty bowl. Let me wash my hands right quick. Okay, the third ingredient she calls for is just barbecue sauce, but I like to use barbecue and ketchup. So I'm just going to kind of mix them together. But I'm just kind of mixing up my ketchup and barbecue here. I like a little more ketchup than barbecue because I just like ketchup. I can't help it. Just keep messing with it till I get it the way I like it. That looks about good enough. Now then I'm just gonna go in. Let's see, now I'm gonna move this up. Now I'm just going to drizzle some sauce over each one. And these will draw up a little bit. And they'll have a little crispy edge and they'll be nice and cooked on the inside. Just kind of drizzle as much sauce so I wouldn't do too much. That way it won't like go everywhere but put you some sauce all over your meat. got to be pretty unless you want it to be. Alright, there's some my mini meatloaves. I'm fixing to put them in the oven. Let them cook for 30 minutes on 350. Okay guys, while my mini meatloaves are still cooking, I wanted to show you the box that it came in in case you are interested. It's an electronic kitchen scale. The model number is EK4150. It has alarm timer, therm thermometer, and stainless steel. And then when I turn it around, it says max weight 11 pounds. Has alarm timer, thermometer, uses two AAA batteries. It does have this little manual that comes with it and it shows you how to use the scale, how to set up the timer, and how to use the tear function and all that stuff on it. So that, that'll that help you out if you purchase one of these. I am frying up some okra 
to go with our dinner. We're just going to have fried okra and mini meatloafs. And I already put in my first batch here. I've got nine minutes and eight seconds left on my mini meatloaf, so I thought I'd go ahead and start my okra. Okay, guys, I was going to show you that the alarm's fixing to go off on this Etec City scale that I got here. 25 seconds left. I've had it running for 30 minutes. Cook my mini meatloafs. A little bit of a glare. There we go. I'm still cooking my okra right now. There it goes. Letting me know that my 30 minutes is up. I'll just hit off because I'm done with it. Pretty nice scale. Okay guys, my 30 minutes is up. I have got out my meatloafs here. They look really yummy. And I got some fried okra here. That's what we're having for dinner. I will say that it was really nice using my new Etex City um, measuring scale there. It worked out great. And um, don't forget to check that out below if you're interested in one of those scales. I'll have that link in the description bar below. Um, let me just pull one of these up. I can do it without tearing it up. Show you that up close. And I like to squirt a little bit of extra, just regular ketchup on top of that. That's the way I like to eat mine. But it's done really good, really flavorful, and really quick. So I hope y'all enjoyed this cook with me video. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments below. Check out that link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.